Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Barry Buckets. I stream on Twitch and this is my first YouTube video. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys about a customs money run. Okay, I'm going to go into an offline raid. I'm going to show you the route. I'm going to show you the callouts. I'm going to give you guys everything you need to be successful. Uh, the only thing you are going to need for this run is a docs case and a factory exit key. That is the only thing you guys are going to need. And I would also prefer to say if you can run a big backpack because the amount of money that we're going to make right here on this run is going to probably blow some of your minds. Some of you guys may already know about it, but I'm sure a lot of the truck off community is not aware of this route and the amount of money that you can make while doing this route. So I'm going to go into an offline raid. This is a kit that I probably usually run. And I just want to show you guys how much money you can make. Alright, so this spawn is not awful. We are we are on the um, the ZB side of the map. So we're going to be going from ZB and then we're going to end that into, okay? So if you want to stash run, you can, but I'm not. Okay, stash right there. Okay, so right off back, there's a spawn right here that I'm running directly towards. So be careful because this spawn, you know, it's actually spawn players, of course. So be careful. They will spawn on this one. So the first building that we're going to hit, I call this the ZB gas. The ZB gas spawn. Gas spawn in here. Bang. Gas spawn in here. Filter spawn. Gas spawn. Always loot these crates. These crates have big, big money. Good money for you. Remember, take everything that is valuable, but don't just take everything. Don't forget, bolts are 20k, and we just got 80k up bolts right there. Okay. Filter spawn, gas spawn, going up. Filter spawn here. That is the filter absorber spawn, not the blue filter spawn. Loot these PCs. You might get lucky. We might pull a, you know, we might pull a, might pull a graphics card. You never know. Okay, sugar, great, 70k item. Jackets right there, gun spawn. I'm just showing you guys how I do this run. You don't have to, you can literally hit everything. I, I don't loot every single item, but you can. Okay, if you want to maximize profit, you might as well. Red rebel spawns in there. The, the two green cannon, the crates. But like I said, I don't personally go there. I'm just going to show you the route that I do and what I do to make money. So we're going into this room. This is called... I call this a graphics card spawn, roller spawn. Roller spawns on that side, graphics card on this one, on this side. Be careful because there are gaming people that come here and they, they know that there's decent spawns here. All right, graphics card spawn, Petra spawn. Loot the PCs, loot the PCs. Might get lucky, we might pull something out that would be pretty good, you never know. M scissor spawn, gas filter spawn. Look at this right here. Look, look. Bang. Another 100k. 50k. Come in here. Sugar spawn. Food spawn. Bang. Sugar spawn. Jackets right there. You can loot those jackets. You come in here. Gas spawn. Filter spawn right here. Filter spawn right here. Part spawn right here. Part spawn. I don't personally loot parts, but you can. Come in here. This is called roller spawn right here. Roller spawn in the corner right here. Two gold spawns behind. We didn't get anything right there, but always make sure you check those two gold spawns. You might get lucky you get a gold chain. Okay, so this is called graphic card spawn, roller spawn, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Come over here. This is a good little spot for beginners if you are trying to get your flash drives. You know, for the quest, if you need the flash drops, come into this power here. Look, might get lucky. Bang, right there. You see that? Flash drive. Flash drive's always good. This is a great spot to get your flash drives from. Here, might get lucky. Graphics card. Nope, no graphics card. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ram, 25k, take that. I'm not picking up CPU fans because they fluctuate. But if you catch them in the market at the right time, you'll be able to get a CPU for about 20k. But for the sake of the video, I'm not grabbing CPU fans. Okay. Going through split gate. I call this spot split gate. I'm calling this OG gas. This was this was the OG gas spawn. The first gas spawn that I learned about. 
before the expansion. So here we go. Bang. Gas spawn. Filter spawns right there as well. Here we go. This might gonna be a good one. This might gonna be a good one. Grab the motors. Why not? For now we grab. Don't forget, we got the big backpacks. We take everything we can for right now. Just literally take everything. Bang, this is a great item. 100k item right there. Bang, we got two of them. I'm telling you guys, look, like, right now, guys, like, right now, we could literally leave and make money. This this would be great profit already as it is. I mean, we, we already have almost 700k right now, but we're getting greedy. Don't forget, you guys can get out. This is this is good enough loot. We, we, we got all that loot in five minutes. So... If you're satisfied with this, get out. And you can make your money, you can run it back. But I'm still gonna show you guys the whole route. This is why we need the factory checkpoint key, okay? Because we come in here, we turn on power. After we turn on power, we're gonna come in here, I'm gonna show you about another good secret spot that nobody seems to know about. Come in here, jacket spawn. Filter spawns in here, gas spawn right here. Make sure you look at these spots. I'm setting you guys up for success. Not many people know about this customs money run. This is the very best customs money run, okay? Right here. Gas spawn. Gas spawn. Gas spawn. They didn't spawn, of course, but that's okay. This is this is gonna be a fat one. I can already tell this race is gonna be pretty fat. There we go. Might as well go to old gas. There should there will be scabs here, so you know. Make sure you be careful. Always check in here. Might get lucky. Might might get that red key card. Might get the blue key card. You never know. Might find a slick right there. Come to the giving tree. Looking, looking for the looking for that pestily mask we need for Kappa. You know what I'm saying? That one that one last streamer item that we need for Kappa. Gonna get some stamp. I will say though. If you guys can, I don't know what your strength is, I don't know what your endurance is, but I would say potentially keep a mule in your in your gamma kappa, you know, out whatever you have. Keep keep it in there. Because odds are you're gonna get thick and you're not gonna be able to carry the majority of this stuff. So this will give you the ability to be able to carry everything. Gas spawn here. Bang right here. Okay, for now we still can hold everything. Whenever our backpack gets full, we gotta start prioritizing, you know, money for for less money. And I would say that filter spawn, gas spawn. I will say that this route can be done as a duo. There is enough money to be going around to make for you and your friend on this route. Gas spawn right here. This is where I find the majority of my gas in fortress. When you're looting these canisters and these crates, always duck because there's snipers all around the spot. Okay, so make sure we're ducking. Refresh on the salva. For now, we'll take the sodium. Weapons, ammo spawned right there. Slide cyclones, 50k. Tubes, 10k. Take the screws for now. Gas. <laughs> Yo, the metal gas spawns are going crazy today. Come on, man. I'm dropping the filter because the filter's 25k. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm dropping the motor because the motor's 25k, but it's a four slot. So, in my opinion, it's not really, I'm not really maximizing if I have that. So, that is why I am dropping the motors. The motors should be the first thing to go, in my opinion, because they're a four slot, but they're only worth 24k. Look at that, we got a sugar for it right there. We got BSM all right there. So make sure you guys understand what to take and what not to take because we're trying to maximize, we're trying to maximize our dollar here. We're trying to maximize space as much as possible. We got right here, another gas sponge right there. Another crate, loot these crates, always duck. Because trust me, there's always a sniper that's in the area that's ready to snipe your head off if you're not careful. But right now, we'll take the relay right now. Sniper, sp sniper there at power. So make sure you're careful. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna check another spot. I didn't loot all the fortress, but I want to show you guys this gas spawn as well. There's a gas spawn 
right here. Hey guys, this route can be for low levels, high levels. I just want to farm rubles. This this route is literally for anybody. Gas farm right here. Sugar spot on this table. Jackets right there. One slot item. This spot is for anybody who just wants to make money. I mean, there's... I don't know how much sodium is. I'm pretty sure sodium is worth more than a relay. I could be wrong. Okay. Now we're off to corner gas. We looted all of that right there. We got great money from that small right here. Now we're going to corner gas. Remember the reason Remember how, well, the reason that we turned on power off to start, okay? Because that's very important. Come in here. Gas spawn. Gas spawn. Look at this. Gas spawn. Gas spawn. Absorber spawn. M scissor spawn. Okay, this is when it gets hard because you got to think, okay, what can I do to maximize? It's easy for me because, of course, I'm in an offline raid. So I can, you know, drop stuff in order to come back to me. So you guys see the importance. You guys see the importance of a big backpack. Because you will not be able to take all this stuff. You need a big backpack. Big backpacks are. They're, they're really, they're just meta, so you really just need it. I'll make sure to crouch. I didn't crouch right there. It didn't work. M cable's good. M cable's worth money. We're gonna drop the, uh... We're gonna drop the screws. We'll drop the screws. M cable is 35k. It's the trade. It's the trade for the, uh, it's, it's the trade for the, uh, ah, oh, there's so much, god, there's so much loot. M cables are trade for the raid backpack. Two raid backpack, I mean, two M cables get you a raid backpack, so that is an extremely important trade. We're dropping sodium now, like, I could be wrong here. I could be wrong, sodium might be more than that, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, I just think that morphine is a little bit more important than it, so I'm just, I'm just, you know. More morphine. I think it's like 7k. Morphine's 11k from the dealers. Okay, and the last spot. This is called Intel spot. People call this crack house. I call this Intel. Come in here. Check for the Intel. I don't think we got any Intel. I don't think we got any Intel again, to be completely honest with you. Okay, Intel spawn here, Intel spawn here, Intel spawn here, Intel spawn there, Intel spawn there. Here, here, they, they spawn in here, they all spawn in here. Okay. And we didn't make any, we didn't get any Intel right here. But I mean, this raid was pretty fat. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure we made over a million right here. This is not by hitting Morph Room. We did run into bosses. Don't forget, you can find bosses at Fortress, so be careful. Don't just W key Fortress, you gotta be careful. Because the bosses are completely cracked here. And remember when I told you guys that we turn on the power. We turn on the power for a specific reason. Instead of having to run to Ruoff or run to, into, or run to Crossroads. We just come right back down here. With our factory key. Yeah, we just get on out of here. Get on out. Use our factory key. And from right here. This is it. Alright. I know I want you to duck fees and stuff. I know it's a little construed. But I'm just going to try to do some math off the top of my head. I might not be, you know. 100% on the dot, but it'll be a pretty ballpark range, okay. 100k, 200k, 300k, 400k, 500k, 600k, 700k, 800k, 800K. We got three sugars that hit about, for about 70k a piece, so that's another 200k, so we're already at a mil, chat. We're at a mil already. Okay, 15k, 15k, 25k, 30k. Bang, bang, bang. 1.1. 40k. These are 20k each. I mean, that's... That right there is... Okay, that's 1.2. And then just a bunch of extra small stuff. From this raid right here, without any intel, we were able to make... Right here on just this run, we were able to make 1.2 mil off gases, filters, cyclones, bolts... This route is a crazy route. You are able to find great loot. 
great small things that add up. This route is different because on reserve, everybody already knows all the spots. They're W key in the spots. Hashtag runners, pistol runners. You get everything. They put it in the butts. You can't get it. With this route, it's not like Shoreline. It's not like any other map. Don't get me wrong. The PvP on Customs is good. I'm not saying that it's not. But you have the ability to run through these spots within 15 minutes. And you have the ability to make over a mil easy without intel. So I'm telling you guys, this is the Customs Money Route. This is the Barrier Buckets Customs Money Route. This route is insane. It'll make you so much money. And doing this route, you can just you can just farm money. I mean, from me going from 50 mil to 90 mil, I, I just did this route. And it, it took no time. I'm currently at 75 mil. I'm not really running the route anymore. I'm just running for PvP. But for new players, for chads, for people who are kind of in the middle, this route is for anybody. This route doesn't discriminate. This route has the ability to make you so much money. So I hope you guys, you know, run this route. And let me know how you do. Drop your comments, questions in the bottom. I'll answer any, any and all questions if you got anything. Be f feel free to follow me on Twitch, Barry Buckets. And if you want to join my Discord, X my Sport Discord on my channel. And if you have any questions, if you have any any other loot runs you want to show me, tell your friends, you know, tell your sisters, tell anybody that plays talk off, show them this run. Because this run is free. It's not like Interchange. It's not like Reserve. It's not like Shoreline. This is the Customs Money Run. All you need is a big backpack, a docks case, and a factory checkpoint key. You don't need much. You can pistol run it. I'm not saying you're running the PvP, but I'm saying it's very possible. But I appreciate you guys for you know tuning into the video, and I hopefully and I'm hoping that you guys make a lot of money on doing this. So thank you guys.